All right, so now my burgers are almost done. You know I like my burgers well done. As you can see here, got my top side pretty well. Just need to cook up the back side. I'll even flip it for you. See, the difference, not done, done. Top side at least. Cleaned out the pan so that there's no oil in the pan because uh, oil and cheese don't really get together too well. And now I'm gonna walk over to my refrigerator. And I actually keep my cheeses inside the freezer. And as you can see, my freezer is pretty full right now. I probably should have organized it a little bit better because I can't even find my cheese. But I found my cheese. Here's my cheese right here. I use sharp cheddar cheese. It's shredded, but it is frozen. So come back over to here and I put the cheese inside a little saucer, like so. So when you put the cheese inside the saucer, I usually put a good amount in there. You know, you wanna, you wanna break up this ball here. You know, there you go there. So, that's a good amount of cheese, isn't it? Yep, I think so. Now I put my cheese right onto the burger. These burgers are a little bit small. I normally use bigger, flatter burgers than these. Um, there we go, yeah. Sorry, that was a big piece of cheese I didn't want to waste. So these burgers are definitely a little small. Sorry, a little hard to do with one hand. Okay, so there we go there. Put the cheese on there like that. Shake my hands free of the cheese. And I knew the cheese is cooking. Come over here to my sink, where I turn on the water, rinse out my cheese bowl. Add a little bit of water to this saucer again. And now, the fun part happens. So, while the burgers are on here, you want to capture the steam from the water. So what I'm going to do is cover it up slightly, and with all my magical hands, now look at this magical television here, it's going right through the lens, right through the glass, I'm going to pour some water. And you can see, now you can't see in there because there's fog and condensation, and there's water. I did add a little bit too much water, but that's fine kind of hard to do with one hand but what that steam is going to do is it's going to melt the cheese and when you melt the cheese it's gonna wrap around the burger because the steam is making it very very humid in there that's how you melt the cheese and I'll take a final picture in a moment all right water has boiled away as you can see it's still nice and hot on the inside Pull the cover away, there will be some steam, so remember when you pull the lid away, you always want it to face away from you and not towards you. You'll wind up burning your wrist. Pull it away, steam pops up, and boom. Look at that here. Nice, nice, nice. Now I didn't add as much cheese as I normally add, because I had to do it with one hand, and these burgers aren't really all that big. But here you go here, close up there, nice. And then you serve and enjoy.